My favorite story about Betty White, if I may just briefly, is the uh, first time I worked with her. She's still, at 88, she still is very sharp sexy, as, sharp, sharp as, as attack, attack, and sexy, and loves to play on that sex appeal. And this was a couple of years ago, and I said to her, and she was probably 84 or something at that point, and she did a reading of one of my plays, and I called her the next day to thank her, and I said, now, Betty, now that I've found you, I'm not going to let you go. And she said, Believe me, when I want to be caught, I run very slowly. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, you... you wait, wait, I just have to tell one more Betty yeah. story while we're Great. on this. Um, I just love her so much. So I'm um, hoping to get her to do one of these, by Oh, the way. I, you've yeah. got to. Yes. She's so fantastic. She is. Betty, um, uh, Jamie and I were screwing around on the set one time, just, you know, talking about our, uh, some script, and we were insulting, insulting each other, like, oh, you wrote that joke, that was so bad, and he was, do it. And I remember I just, I came up with something where I just slayed Jamie. I just did something where it was so, like I really cut him to the quick. And Jamie picked up a piece of bologna from the craft service table and threw it at me. Well, what we didn't know is Betty White was coming behind me. And so I just leaned like this <laughs> and the bologna hit Betty White in the face. And Jamie and I we were like in our 20s and we were like mortified. And Betty just took the bologna and she looked at us and she went, don't you know I'm a star? I'm a goddamn star. And then she just laughed and it was like and it was like, oh my god, you're the greatest human being who's ever lived. So